Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a curly to straight routine but I'm going to be trying out something new today. It's a product that I've had my eye on for years and I've been meaning to get my hands on it. So I'm excited to show you guys how I got on with it with the silk press. So let's get into it. So my hair is freshly washed. I shampooed deep conditioned and conditioned. I used my original products this time because I wasn't trying to experiment too much with a silk press. So I use this shampoo. This is the Care Care Anti Dandruff Moisturizing Shampoo. I have used it before and it's really good for like dry and itchy scalp. And then I followed up using the Care Care Intensive Restorative Mask. Really, really love this stuff. And lastly, I applied the Care Care Humecto Cream Conditioner. So as I said, my hair is still damp. And I want to apply these products in my hair while it's damp, not when it's dry. So I'm just going to twist one side up, like so. And now I'm going to apply the Care Care Leave-In Conditioner. About four pumps. It says to use dime size. Again, I still don't know what a dime size is. I'm just going to apply that to my hair. Apply a little bit more. So two pumps more. Get in the section. And ends. So today I'm going to be using a different product. It did cost me quite a lot of money because they don't sell it over here in the UK. So I had to get it off Amazon. So I'm firstly hoping it's not like a fake product. And secondly, I'm hoping that it was worth my money. So today I'm going to be using the Chi Infra Silk Infusion. I've seen this everywhere on YouTube from the American YouTubers. I just had to get my hands on it. It was in my basket for a long time and I just thought, okay, let me just fork the money out. I think it cost me about 15 pounds, which is quite a lot of money. <laughs> so anyways, this is the Chi Infra Silk Infusion or the Chi Silk Infusion. And it's a silk reconstructing complex, paraben free. And it says to apply a small amount in the palm of hand and work evenly throughout the hair, leave in and proceed with styling. So a small amount interesting so let's try it's sealed so i'm hoping that's a good sign of it not being a fake product i'm hoping that's not too much it feels quite nice in the hair actually it feels very silky <laughs> it's got like a cologne kind of scent not overpowering but yeah it's i didn't expect it to smell like cologne like men's cologne let's see i'm just making sure that gets through my hair evenly and then lastly, I'm gonna put my heat protector in. So today I'm using the Tresemme Heat Defense Care and Protect Spray. I have used lots of different Tresemme heat protectants in the past and I don't feel like one was better than the other. I have used this specific one a long time ago. I used to use it all the time. So I went back to my original products. Right in my mouth. And I'm just going to brush it out just so that all the products can be evenly distributed. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's all done now. So I'm just going to put one side up. So on this side, I'm going to be using the Revlon One Step Styler with a brush. And on this side, I'm going to be using the Revlon One Step Volumizer. Just to see which brush is better since I do have both, I might as well do a comparison video. So as always, I'm gonna start on level one just so that I can get the hair completely dry and then I'm gonna follow up on level two to get it completely straight. The comparison video for the Revlon hair dryers will be coming up in a separate video. So if you would like to see which hair dryer is better in my opinion, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and turn that notification bell on so you know when the video is up. Next section. blow drying but it looks good it's been a while <laughs> next section okay looks pretty good and i'm just going to twist it up so it doesn't poof back up 
I'm going to use this Hinch brush and do this side. And then I'm gonna go over on Cool Shot, even though this Cool Shot is whack. Okay, so now that my hair's all blow dried, I'm gonna continue on to straightening. I was going to give myself a little trim before I go in and straighten but the single strand knots don't feel that bad this time around so I think I can get away with straightening without getting any snagging. As for my results today I actually feel like this silk infusion is really good. My hair just feels really lightweight, fluffy and yeah I'm looking forward to straightening. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the side up. And then I'm gonna section this off into three sections. So one section at the back here, going towards my ear, and then one section right in the middle, and the last section at the front. And the straighteners I'm gonna be using are the Remington Pro Ceramic Wide Plates. And I'm putting the temperature up to 210. I don't go higher than that. I used to, but then I didn't really care about my curls back then when I was a straight natural, but now I care and I don't go above 210 because I'm not trying to fry my hair. So I'm going to start in this back section. I'm not going to apply any more products. I'm trying to keep the product application as low as possible. So this is my first section. Let's go. I have several curly to straight routines up on my channel already using various products. And sometimes I think that's where it goes wrong. You have to find good quality products. And usually it's the higher end products that work well. So no John Frieda like I used in my previous routine. Like that stuff did not work well. <laughs> so far so good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Not bad, not bad at all. So just to explain what I'm doing, I'm taking small sections, not too thick and I comb it out and then I take the straightener I go at the roots very carefully and then I take the comb put it in put the straightener behind it and then pull very slowly one pass only and then just repeat that about a hundred times and you're all done it shouldn't take more than 45 minutes to do to get the best results try and keep the sections small and pass the straightener slow and steady so you don't have to go over it twice and so that you don't get any crimping in the hair as well and the steam that you can see is from the products evaporating from my hair don't worry my hair is not frying i've already washed my hair since and my curls popped right back and that's one section done Super, super lightweight. Onto the next section. I'm splitting this section into two. And if you can see, like that. Just so that it's easier to manage. Instead of talking all the way through this video, I like to talk, if you didn't notice. <laughs> I'm gonna let the video play because I do find this straightening process so satisfying. So I hope you do too. So I'm gonna let the video play and I'll be back talking in a bit. <laughs>
So watching the video back, I can see that I had some flaking on my scalp, which does happen to me sometimes. I have naturally dry skin, so I assume my scalp will be the same. But the shampoo I use today usually battles that, and I don't usually have any flaking. But I guess my scalp was a little bit drier than usual today. <laughs> I don't know, but just pretend you don't see that, okay? <laughs> One side done. Look. So silky, guys. I'm so gassed. I'm sorry. I'm so gassed. I'm so gassed. I think this is the straightest I've ever had my hair. This is the truth. I will leave the link for this in my description box below. Look. <laughs> right. I'm going to do the other side now. section these gray hairs are going wild i was actually gonna dye my hair this time around but i just thought let me just let the grays grow out and then when i actually need to dye my hair i'll dye my hair or i just might do it in a few months time we'll see i'm just tired of seeing the grays now they're everywhere Look at that. And they don't behave, they don't behave the same way as normal hair. They're just very rebellious. Okay, so that's all done now. And as you can see, the hair is given. Oh, I'm so impressed with these products, honestly. I definitely do recommend it. Like, this made a world of difference. I'm just gonna top my hair off with some silk and seal, just so that it can take off that, you know, that feathery feeling I don't like. Not too much. I'm just going to comb that through. So this is what my hair's looking like. In the back. Lovely. So as you can see, I'm super happy with my results and that silk infusion is now a staple in my DIY silk press routine. I'll link all the products I use down below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,